billions of dollars annually are sent to Africa by the continent's diaspora. The World Bank estimates that remittances to sub-Saharan Africa accelerated to 11.4% to about $38 billion in 2017. Now, the largest remittance recipients were Nigeria, Senegal, and Ghana. Here in Kenya, CBK data shows that cash sent home by Kenyans abroad jumped about 51.8% to just over a billion dollars in the first five months of this year. Today, remittances are a significant share of gross domestic product in several nations on the continent. Many businesses are cashing in on this growth, and one of them is global money transfer company World Remit. The firm, which is present in over 100 markets, says Africa now accounts for half of its transactions. Well, joining us in the studio with more insight into the world of remittances and his business is Ishmael Ahmed. He is the CEO of World Remit. Very welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Now, your company is present in about 45 countries on the continent. Uh, you process more than 8 million uh, transactions annually here in Africa. How much potential uh, do you see in Africa? And certainly, what regions do you see this spectacular growth? So we currently send about $1.6 billion of remittances to Africa, sent by the diaspora. And we think the actual remittance figure, figure is much higher than the, what the World Bank uh, estimate is, because a lot of the African remittances used to go through informal networks and therefore has remained unmeasured. We think the true figure might be closer to $100 billion. Really? And, and, and so, so we're really seeing a fast growth now as remittances move from informal underground networks to formal and digital uh, remittance uh, companies, to, uh, companies like, to, uh, like World Remit. Mm. Some of our biggest markets are Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, you know, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Uganda. And we're particularly very big in East Africa because of the digitization, because of the move towards uh, mobile money uh, services. Mm. Now give us a sense of how hard it is currently to move money uh, around the continent. You mentioned the fact that there are a lot of informal uh, networks uh, in Africa uh, for money coming from th from the diaspora uh, and we do know that the recent signing of the Africa continental free trade area has opened uh, uh, the opportunities in that market so give us a sense of what the market is like now and what the potential is going forward the potential for cross-border payments in Africa is huge I think the uh, Af the free trade between African countries is hampered by the very high cost of sending money and the friction and difficulties uh, business individuals face when they try to send money across borders in Africa. So we're launching a service that enables individuals and businesses in Africa to send money across borders uh, m uh, much faster than the, the existing systems, a uh, digital service. And that would initially start within Africa, but we want to enable also African businesses in particular to send money abroad to do trade, you know, African trade now with China. So sending money to China is, is quite difficult now, but we, uh, we want to enable those businesses to get a faster access to bank accounts using our extensive payment network we've built over the last eight years. Mm. Now you mentioned two things, fast, cost effective. Mm. Uh, that's what Africa needs going forward. And we do know that World Remit has launched uh, a digital uh, service uh, in payments. So give us a sense of what solutions uh, such as this service you think will work for Africa as a continent going forward. There is a, a major shift mm. from uh, cash to cashless. And the biggest trend we're seeing in Africa is that that digitization is helping companies like us to move money much faster at a lower cost uh, and encouraging customers to kind of uh, uh, use our services, our apps. So, so that is what, what is kind of uh, helping us uh, move uh, uh, faster. And we've built uh, uh, partnership is with the largest banks, mobile operators, and other licensed players in Africa. So typically in each market, we would have five up to ten partners. And those are individual relationships where we often have a direct connection to their system. Mm. So that allows us to credit funds instantly to, into bank accounts. Take the case of Nigeria, 
we can credit money into any bank account instantly. And that is the kind of a service we want to enable individuals and businesses in Africa. Something we originally built for the diaspora, but now we know African businesses want to trade across borders within Africa, but also uh, outside Africa. Mm. Now, what role do you see regulators playing uh, in the growth of this particular industry going forward? The tough new regulations introduced after 9-11 have actually helped this industry to move from informal to formal, to from cash to digital, because regulators you know, from Nigeria to Kenya are encouraging uh, digitization. Uh, and, and what that means is that when transactions become digital, they have audit trail. That means those who are want to do financial crime, money laundering, are unlikely to use digital uh, players. So that is actually one of the trends which is uh, helping the move towards cashless or cashless uh, uh, economies and benefiting not only the individuals uh, and businesses, but the economies as a, as a whole. Mm. Well, unfortunately, we have to leave it there. We've run out of time, but thank you so much for joining us uh, in the studio. Of course, that was Ishmael Ahmed. He's the CEO of World Remit.